So uh, these are the swing states. Now, I was reading some fascinating research, Rich. How many states do you, since July, since the summer, how many states do you think President Obama and Mitt Romney have campaigned in? Now let me tell you that in 1960, Richard Nixon campaigned in all 50 states. John Kennedy campaigned in 45 states. So how many states have Mr. Obama and Mr. Romney campaigned in since July? Only the eight and ten. 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 Now they've been to more states because they raised money in the other states. I was going to say New York. New York's not in play. I'm raising, raising money like crazy in the other states, but in terms of campaign events, talking to voters, actually campaigning on the ground, making some speeches, ten. Ten states because they know they cannot afford to waste the time, if you will, in all these other states. This is a huge change, and the, and the younger people in the room will think that it's always been this way. It has not. In fact, really the tipping point in this was around 1988. Before 1988, California, in modern times, almost always voted for the Republican candidate. It's unimaginable today. Before 1988, the state of New York was very competitive. About half the time it voted for the Republican candidate. But since 1988, people have drawn into their corners. California has always voted for the Democrat. Texas has always voted for the Republican. New York has always voted for the Democrat since 1988. Uh, it's a very interesting new trend. It did not used to be this way. Many, many more states were competitive than they are today. But there's a lot of interesting research out now, Rich, that, that suggests that people in the country are moving to places in the country where they have, where there are like-minded people.